Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Bo. I wanted to kind of go over my rotation for Gladiator Warrior. So Gladiator Warrior is, if you don't know, it's in the protection specialization. Uh, so specialization tank. And the Gladiator's Resolve makes you into a DPS guy. So anyway, here's the talents I roll with. So you guys can look that up if you like. Anyway, glyphs I use is Bull Rush, Cleave, and endless rage reason for it is get an extra 15 on charge which is hella nice because normally you're going to charge in gets you a little boost gets you started in your dps quicker uh heroic strike for two hits means hey that's exactly what it means you get a couple extra shots which makes it kind of nice and then of course the unending rage giving you 20 more rage that gives you from 100 to 120 so that i'd almost say that is required the only one I use mostly is this one for a minor one, which is Watchful Eye. It's just intervene. It just helps me to automatically target the party with the lowest health so I can grab them just in case I'm doing stuff in dungeons. Uh, also, Blazing Trail. I just use that because it shows people when I'm charging in and where my shield charge happens. And then uh, this is stupid. Don't worry about it. So anyway, the rotation is really, really, really easy. I have it set to where it's just three buttons. Now, it looks like it, but those are all macros. So let me just go in and show you. So here's my latest. This is when we went when we did on Drove uh, right here. And, I mean, you're talking 17,000 deeps. <laughs> so you can really crack ass. So check it out. Oh, I should probably have reset that. Huh? Oh, well. Wow. I have to go off to the side slightly. Then Dragon Roar, which is one of my uh, talents, which I absolutely like recommend you get. Storm board, bam. Shield charges up for four and a half seconds. All right, bam. Ah, I thought I reset it. Oh, well. Okay. So I see it was like really just three buttons. I was just pressing back and forth and back and forth. Nothing too big. So let's go into exactly what those buttons are. So if we go to macros, go to GCX specific. So there are three macros that I use uh, for almost everything. If it's not charge, and then if Dragon's Roar is independent, sometimes I use Thunderclap if it's in a group because you want to be able to apply that bleed on everybody. Uh, it's the wounds one. You'll need the thunderclap, and it hits everybody in the area. That's really the only AOE you have as a warrior or gladiator. But here you go. First one, devastate. You notice how long this <laughs> this macro is. So what it's doing is burning everything I have that doesn't require a global cooldown. So in this case, devastate is just your main kind of filler uh, when you don't have. Shield slam or revenge up, you hit devastate. So devastate will put two, shield charge up. Shield charge is what we use for applying that de that debuff that increases the damage of heroic strike, shield slam, and devastate by twenty five percent. And if it'll stack twice, so you can go up to fifty percent. That's where most of your damage happens. So this basically just means every time that shield charge is available, it'll cast it. And then Shield Spell Reflect is a skill we all have as warriors. Very few of us ever use it, but in this case, I just use it. Uh, Bloodbath is our one of our DPS dealies. Where is that thing? Uh, it gives you a little extra. There you go. 12 seconds melee abilities, multi-strike by 30%, and a bleed over 6 seconds. So it basically just burns that every time you have the opportunity. Uh, Berserker Rage, same thing. It's uh, It just burns it every time you get the chance um you you can take it off if you want to have a little bit more control over that if you're doing like pvp stuff but really for me in the pve world i just leave it on there because i'm just doing raids uh, heroic strike basically the all the goal the guides you'll read will say that heroic strike should only be used when you have better than x amount of 
rage and blah, 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 blah. Well, for me, I don't really care, okay? Because I just want to burn it every time that Shield Slam's up. And most of the time on this macro, Shield Slam will be up at some way, shape, or form. So I burn Heroic Strike every time I get a chance. And you will get a lot of excess rage doing these macros anyway. So you'll be able to do executes and you'll have enough to do taunt, like everything else. So don't worry about it. Gladiator Stance, it just makes sure you're in Gladiator Stance every time. It doesn't necessarily mean to do anything, but if you have to be stupid and you're accidentally in Defensive Stance when you started, you at least get a shot and get back into Gladiator. Because uh, you can always go from Defense to Gladiator, but you can't go Gladiator to Defense. Okay. Uh, burns both the Trinkets, because you use 1314 as Trinkets, and then Demoralizing Shout is the... I think it just reduces damage or something for a little bit on me but anyway okay so that's the first one so that's that's your main filler okay then your shield slam multi where is it here it is this is just doing shield slam making sure the charges are on there burning my uh, cooldowns heroic strike just to fill and using trinkets just in case revenge same thing it's just Burning Revenge, Shield Strike, Shield Charges to keep the Shield Charge up because that's the main ability we have. Heroic Strike and using Trinkets. Very, very simple. Uh, I'll put all these in the comments below so you can kind of copy paste them and, and make your own Trinket or your own macros. But really, these are a joke. I mean, watch. Again, it is Charge, Dragon Slam, Devis. I throw down Shield Slam to get started. Revenge to get it going, and then just fill with Devastate. Every time the Shield Slam comes up, you hit Shield Slam. Otherwise, you're just filling with Devastate. And there you go. Sword and board. Bam. So you always prioritize Shield Slam over Revenge. And then Revenge over Devastate. So as long as you keep... So the way I have it mine all laid out is for my Naga Mouse. And you can see, I'm just literally going left, left to right. Oh, and the sword and board kicked on. See, this is 14k deeps, and I don't even have raid buffs. And with raid buffs, you can easily hit 16 to 17. And this is three buttons. So you can just focus on movement, you can focus on shield mechanics, and then... There you go. Because really, focusing on mechanics is going to be really, really critical. Alright, and you guys get the hint. So as you see, 14-2. That's your rotation. Pretty easy. And the nice part is this takes into account like ultimatum, which gives you a free heroic strike uh, already. So you don't even have to worry about it, which is nice. The thing that kind of sucks is I got that deep wounds on there, so it, <laughs> I can't go out of combat for kind of a while. But anyway, uh, that is my DPS build, and I certainly hope that was useful or helpful for a lot of you guys. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, but otherwise, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys soon. See ya!